Well, I did it. I got this radio. Now, Todd Bert and Danny have both reviewed this radio, and they kind of liked it. It's been out for quite a while, but during the Prime sale they had a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, they had this thing on sale for less than $8. It's AM, FM, and shortwave for less than $8. Normally, it's only $10. So I thought, what the heck? I'm going to try it. Maybe it's one of those radios you can, like, put in your toolbox or put in your tackle box and take it fishing with you. And if it falls overboard, you don't care. So let's take a look at this thing. There's all the shortwave bands. And they go from 4.75 to 22.6. Not bad. Now, it's not, not all inclusive because there are, I think, 12 bands. And then it's got FM, excuse me. Yes, FM1, FM2, depending on what country you live in. For this model, the earlier models only had for, uh, for the AM band, it only had stations outside of the United States. And for the FM band, it only had the frequencies for the outside United States. This one has AM for the United States, 522, 1715, and then two FM bands, one for outside the United States and one inside the United States. It requires two AA batteries. Go right here. It's got a telescopic antenna, which is about 15 inches. Not very good for shortwave. It has a cloth strap. Uh, nothing here. Up here we have the capability of a DC input, headphones jack, on-off switch, and over here we had the tuning and the volume. Analog, analog receiving, and well, let me correct myself. It's a DSP. Strike one, muting with tuning. I don't like muting with tuning, so that's strike one. Again, that's on really gives you problems uh, on shortwave band. So that's strike one. Okay, let's turn it on. And let's see what band we're on. Turn the volume down. We're on shortwave, so let's go to band selectors down here. That's uh Whoa, that's music. That's FM1, which is for the United States. And as you heard, it was playing music. I'm going to go to AM first. That should be AM. And we'll, we're down at top of the band. And the AM band is shown here. FM, the two FMs are up here. The tuning, uh, tuning bar for FM was up here, and then tuning bar for, it continues down. So this is the tuning bar for shortwave and AM. So it's this little thing right here, and then this bar. Pretty easy to read. We're on AM, so we're going to try tuning. We have to uh, change the direction. Yeah, it's very strong. Okay, we're going to we're gonna have to set it here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of Spanish-speaking stations where I live. Gee whiz. Not the day before yesterday or the day before yesterday. But how is this gardening affecting the world? Little tinny. In everything now, it is black. For a test drive, 1995 is a three-week start. It's a wonderful Very down product. If you're suffering from any... Easy to tune. Now, you see, you don't notice the DSP on AM. The muting while tuning doesn't... Isn't there as much. Okay, that's the band. Um, 
No, I I have to agree with Todd or Bert and Danny. Uh, sensitivity is great on the AM band. Now we'll try FM band. We need uh, FM1. And we need to extend this. Although it's extremely well. Yeah, it's about 18 inches, maybe two feet. Okay. Let's see. We're at the top of the band. We've got to watch out for music. A little hard to tune it, FM. Who's uh, trying to get out of Gaza and uh, our side, after I asked his question? That was this right here. Israelis are united by the shock and I'm pretty sure is the FM station in Tampa, which, which is a little weak. And if a radio can receive that, it does. That it means it's pretty good. And uh, people are asking, how could it have happened? Uh, no, we don't want music. 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 Yeah. Those guys are right. They're very sensitive on these two bands. Let's stay away from the music. Yeah. We're walking right in. And everything will take care of up here in Millbrook. Oh, awesome. so. Sorry, I have to tune so fast, but I gotta stay away from that music. So it picked up a lot of stations on FM. So AM and FM is very sensitive, just like the, the guy said. Now let's it's it's about nine o'clock in the morning, so short wave is gonna be poor because of the time of day plus with this short little antenna, not going to get much, but we'll try a little bit. Let's go to shortwave band one. And we're up at five megahertz. See if we can get WWV, I doubt it. Something there, but I can't pick it up. Oh, I'm, I'm, 5.06. Okay, let's go down. At least the bands are spread out pretty good. Okay, that's 5.03. There should be about 5. Right in there. So you can hear the mute. You can notice the muting while tuning. Nope. Okay, we didn't get anything there. Let's go up to the next one, which starts at 5.6 and goes to 6.4. Usually I can get a Spanish station around 6. Ah, DSP is driving me nuts. I didn't get anything. Let's go back down a little bit. Nothing. Let's try uh, 9 megahertz, which is band 4. Whoop. Noise. There's 10 megahertz. Nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it has uh, two things going against it. Uh, short antenna, way too short. You need at least 20 feet of wire. Um, time of day, it's bad time of day. Um, analog tune, I, I don't like things. You can get, for under $20, you can get a radio this size that has a digital display. So you know pretty much what frequency you're on. I, I don't like analog, but 
I got this for eight dollars. Can you believe it? When they had it on sale, and it's normally only ten dollars. So I have to kind of. It, it has a couple of strikes, as I mentioned before. It has DSP. I don't like that. Analog tuning. I don't like that. But it's ten dollars. So I kind of have to agree with Danny and Totterberg. Yeah. For a knock around radio that you can, uh, don't worry about dropping or damaging or losing or whatever. Yeah, it's not a bad radio. I think it's, I think it's good enough bargain that I'm going to put it in my Amazon store. This is a good backup radio. It would be ideal if it had Noah. That would be nice. But it's still a good radio. I have to agree with the boys. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.